Hi guys, Jerry here, checking in to just set up this episode, you know, I strongly believe that you guys are doing great, I strongly believe, you know, uh, truly, truly, you say it again, you know, it it, it, it seems like I'm a little bit dormant, but uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'll be working, in, you, know, you know, I'll be shifting from one project to another, so the time required, you know, to re record a video which was a little bit short. So uh, our agenda for, for today, I've come up with uh, a mesmerized, you know, you know kind of things, uh, I mean, project of different kinds that I'm, you know, currently working on. But you know, uh, we're, we're gonna dissect them. I, I, I've, I've already, asked, I've already established the approach that I'm going to use to make this work and uh, to make each and every of us, you know, gain from it you know you know I, I do understand that that there's been a while i do understand that there's been a while almost i think uh four to three months now you know for today's agenda i will take you through you know a sequence of projects that i've been working on you know for the past month and then in those projects you know no, uh, you know i will i will explain you know i will, I will take you to demonstration in many parts of the project I will help you understand how you know I design our approach to design our what were you know uh, the advantages and the inconveniences that are encountered throughout uh, you know a design process. The truth is the varieties of projects that I've been w working on. So we will be picking you know some of them because uh, I signed a you know an agreement with the client not to publish, not to expose anything of his project. Some clients, you know, uh, 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 categorically disagree. You know, me to publish anything from from that that, that project, and uh, others, you know, they accept. But that acceptance was halfway. You know, uh, on the internet, especially on, on YouTube, you know, I've uh, a little bit uh, go through videos where people are, are kind of, uh, you know, and the thing is, I'm not gonna judge them. You know, I'm not gonna, uh, uh, you know, be. Uh, specialist you know about the the opinion you know it, it it's up to them but truly truly speaking you know they, they come up with that idea to say that you know this software that software it's easy you know you know so so the thing is i don't know I, I, in which grade are they measuring the quality you know of the software i don't know you know in which criteria are they basing uh, the I'll call it assumption because it w w which is not true because uh, uh, personally, you know, there's no easy software out there. Listen, I will tell you something. I've established for many years now, you now uh, an ethic that that says that if a software is easy, which means it's not worthy learning. If the software is is complex, is 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 is, 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 is compound, which means it's worth learning. So out there, I'm not seeing you know any software that uh, that, that is easy learning because those who program the software the developers you know the, 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 the designers they took the time to make that product come on the market it was not you know a a, a fall or a free flow from somewhere no they, 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 they dedicated time energy effort you know, you know they, 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 they were flexible they, it's something they couldn't, they couldn't even sleep and suddenly you know uh, somebody is coming forth you know with that idea that concept of mind of declaring openly to the public that the software is easy no guys i want you to stop with that no software it is out there you know okay okay i will understand if you tell me no okay, uh, jerry you know what the software is easy maybe you are using it for for fun you know you are you are, you are using it you know for f to design things that are not crucial things that are not to uh, you know you know uh, pointy no no focal point in it you know things like that they just just for the mere of overwatch or a look but if you are using that software you know to solve problems if you're using that software to, to bring things that are imaginary into reality complex things that's in, in, in a way of innovation and creativity in a way of, of leading people uh, so that their their thoughts their imaginary may become real or oh, that i agree with you you never want to say that that the, the software it's easy because you know how complex bringing an imaginary thought into, into reality is so guys i'm just gonna i'm i'm just giving my opinion on that you know uh, uh, perspective where people come up, you know, openly, uh, you know, in public, uh, declaring, in especially on this uh, uh, conducive vessel that we have of com communication called YouTube, 
and claim that this software, such software, that's why this one is easy. I don't really agree with that. I don't really agree with that. You know, I definitely don't, because you know most of software that I use personally, they are complicated. By the way, for this project, I'll be working on my Mac instead of using my window. Because remember, I, I previously I told you, you know, I, I, I use my stationery based on the extension of the project, based on the enlargement of us, how, which type of structure the project will will be in, in, you know, holding, which, which, uh, which extent I can take the project, you know, how, packed, how compact is the project, does it encompasses other domain or it's just a simple thing so so for this as a simple as as, 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 as it is not like uh, uh discriminators and are not widely open i'm gonna use my mac to do it quick and i'm gonna explain to you with the keys you no know, you it might be you might be working on on your window or on your mac you know it's it, it doesn't matter you know i will be helping you to be able to take advantage of your mac and or your window as much as you know i'm doing you know so uh, uh, that's will be it so don't worry don't uh, don't worry you know if i'm using a mark you'll be using the, your window don't worry about it the process is gonna be the same uh, uh, you will understand you you will be you, you know in accordance with the different steps that i will be taking okay this is a doc file meaning that a microsoft word file of a small project that uh, you know uh, will start you know i mean we will start the project you know, you know uh, you and i you know we will design this uh, uh, small house you know it's it's a uh, it's there are two cottages you no know, cottages are just extension of the main house where you can uh, 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 accommodate people visitors or you can uh, set it up you now for rental but mostly they are set you know in uh, your back or front yard so here in south africa we call it uh, cottages in the other part of the world they call it uh, a studio so not studio for recording music right uh, but uh, kind of a, a free space kind of a, an, an open space yeah, but uh, in our case here, it's not really an open space. There are a little bit of zigzag that I've done here, a little bit of partitions. So uh, there are uh, seven of them, you know, there are seven pages that that, that, are, that illustrate my press uh, sketches, you know. No, just uh, I'm just going to scroll down, I'm going to go through it for you to see, you know just uh, like i told you there are two cottages one in the backyard the other one in the front yard so this is the the, the one in the backyard so so just illustrated you know all the sketches the, just uh, the process that I, this is what i always do you know when, when i meet the, the client for the, for the first time and listening to his needs you know talking to you discussing having a good and proper conversation with the client so right there, I started. I'll have to start, you know, sketching, you know, while talking to, him, doing some little sketch, and that after that, uh, you know, presenting it to him to see his reactions. Uh, so then, uh, then we keep on talking back and forth with the client to find out, and then we come up with uh, a, 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 a typical, not really ideal, you know, not really an idealistic, you know, plan or or sketch proposal but definitely a typical one you know just uh, for matter of an, an, an understanding so uh, that's what i use you know and uh, i process it on my own then i carry on to uh, more upper stages of uh, the design development but for this one i just took what i spent you know talking and discussing planning with the client and this is what we're going to implement for our design modeling so uh as you can see you know there the, there are two of them you see here it says backyard front it says front front and backyard so uh, now i'm recalling yeah yeah i think this is the front yard this is the front yard uh, cottage it's the front yard one this is, this is the same thing uh, uh, yeah. No, uh, uh, the, the thing is, uh, the the way I set uh, the way I set them up, things the one on your left side is uh, the on the it will be in the front yard, the one on the 
on the right side will be you know in the backyard as you can see here, it's a return first cottage simple layout sketch this is for the front yard this one on your right side is for the backyard as you can see this is kind of uh, the full you know compound how uh, the compound is, is divided so we have a main house here there will be you know the back cottage here and there will be the front cottage here so this is how you know uh set up things and then what, what i do next you know i just go through using uh, uh, uh the balloon sketch you know I'll just draw a little bit you know as, as you can see before it was just a matter of lines you know, just drawing lines you know and, and because the thing is that i really don't need the the manners i just um uh, you know use a rough sketch just to illustrate you know the, the, the the portion of the main house and gets more focus on the, the other parts that need uh, my attention so uh, you know uh, as you you come down here you you can see on your your left side i started using you know you know the balloon you know you can see here this is a window this this is a window what i did here you know after talking to the client and i have can coming up with a little bit of decision uh we have them to 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 to, to shift this window on the left side right here so so as you can see uh, the, if even the, the, the lot of things that uh, we, we talked about you know the client and i you know uh, coming up with a little bit of tv area you know and and uh, that was it as you can see then what came up i did it always you see here it's 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 more open they they, they there's no wall they i mean they, there's no internal wall or need a, a, a partition but when as i'm scrolling down you see here things start changing on this side we, we're having an uh, a wall opening here that now interior walls here and uh, we're having a, a, a interior wall for a, a bathroom here on your your left side as you can see here and uh, 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 as we go along you can see that the, the, the design started to take shape you know this the sketch started to change things started you know evolving you know you know you know you know the 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 way it used to be is, is no longer because you when when, when you compare this uh, uh, page to the previous one you can see there is a big change you can see that there is a big change between the two as we i'm going deeper you know, you know in my sketches things are taking shape we're having the fun foundation you know estimation that and, and, and the width because i was talking to the client we were to, we were to, to discuss how the foundation is going to be because uh, uh, uh the front cottage it's much way closer to the main house so we have kind of we have to I have to come up with a little bit of proposal here uh for just uh this uh preliminary design and present it automatically right there to the client with a good explanation so uh, and plan already for 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 other insertion of of uh uh, elements a little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, tags and the uh, text you know to il illustrate your designs uh, then you know uh, then, then then I had up some measurements you know you know because uh, the, the width of the front cottage it, it's five meters so the thing is uh, on the left side here corner here of, of this wall as you, you can see here there is the main wall that runs uh, you know longitude according to uh, this wall so it, it goes through like this down all the way so uh, so there have to be a little bit of of, of free gap b between uh, uh, the closure foundation and the the, the cottage foundation so that need to be respected and take into consideration so uh this is it no this is what uh, we are we, we will go along you and i you know we will go through it you know we will we take it to the next level of uh, design modeling we will model it. so the thing is for the modeling software i was thinking of using vectorworks because uh, vectorworks is one of the complex architectural software you can find in the market i'm telling you for those who still hanging on, on uh, uh, with the easy word on software, I, I will apologize. Use vector work and give me, you know, uh, you know, a feedback about it. And so, uh, depending on what you are designing, so you know, 
just uh, a bracket. Thank you. So I was I was thinking of planning on using vector worker, but I found I said to myself, yeah, the process is really not not that complex enough. It's just a simple rooms. Uh, let uh, definitely I'll be using uh, Archicad. I'll use Archicad, you know, to make it a little bit uh, 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 flow. You know, the flow to be you know ease. You know. Yeah, the, the the flow to be a little bit is and quick because I'm working on other project as well. You know, I I, I can still use vector work or even you know, the more uh, uh, SketchUp. Yeah, yeah. So this is it. So the last page, you know, I did a little bit of uh, you know detailing. You know, the, the just of the main slab, a little bit of funda foundation here, a bit of uh, uh, printing. You know, just uh, you know to. to to illustrate to the client how my first ideas are laying out, you know, and then all you can see on the left side here, they uh, just list, listed the different types of material that uh, I'll be using for this project. So, and a little bit of uh, 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 steel bars, you know, uh, RCC there, you know, just to give uh, my client an understanding of where we are starting and. Uh, how we will be approaching this uh, concept that we have elaborated to becoming a fully 3D model product. So let's open our keycard now. 